Hi, welcome to this week's devotion. 365 devotions for kids from the hands-on Bible. Have you ever teased somebody? Jokingly, not me, I'm not talking about mean teasing. My family, we tease each other all the time. Anything you can think of, we are teasing each other. It's kind of what my family does. When I was a kid, good friend of mine, we were giving each other a hard time. You would point out something that the other one was doing or said or how they looked just to it was kind of like a contest to see how many things we could come up with about each other you know she was super short so of course you know i gave her a hard time about how short she was i'm tall i'm a lot taller than she was we talked about that last week you saw her she only comes up to about here but so she'd look at me and she'd ask me so how's the weather up there making fun of you know that my head is in the clouds I'm always late for things I don't mean to be I'm just always late so my friends give me a hard time well my friend and I we kept going back and forth and she kind of went ooh how's your scar I have a scar above my eyebrow and it used to really bother me a lot do you have something about yourself that bothers you I think about it now and it's like who really cares most people can't even see it in my eyebrows maybe there's something about you that you're kind of sensitive about. What may that be for you? Well, for me, it was that. And it just hit me and I wanted to start crying. I know that sounds kind of silly that I'm crying about a scar, but there were so many things we had said to each other and it, we were just joking, but it went too far. Have you ever been with friends and you're teasing each other and suddenly it goes from being funny to not so funny anymore? This week's scripture says, among all the parts of the body, the tongue is a flame of fire. Ooh, fire. That's, that's a pretty powerful word. Have you ever heard the phrase, sticks and stones will break my bones, but names will never hurt me? Names hurt, don't they? Have you been called something that isn't very nice and your feelings get really hurt? Or maybe you've said something to someone else that tongue can hurt somebody, it can burn somebody, it burns their feelings like tongues of fire. And we didn't mean to do it. Hopefully you know that it happened and you apologize to your friend or your family and everything's okay. Or maybe someone's done it to you. Have they apologized to you? It's tough when that has happened. And I know that there have been people that I've hurt their feelings and I've never told them. And I still kinda, my heart still kinda hurts a little bit when I think about them. And I wonder, was there something that I said to someone else that they've never told me? God wants us to use our words in positive ways. Not saying that you can't tease and joke with people, but make sure that you don't do it to a point that you've hurt feelings. Because God wants us to use those words in positive ways, to build each other up, to encourage each other, you know, we hear the phrase, be kind. Sometimes it feels like it's overused, that you just hear it all the time. But it's so important because the world can be a mean and nasty place. And so when we take that opportunity to be kind, to be nice, to be uplifting to others, it's pretty important. So what I want you to do is get with your family and friends and think about a time where the teasing has gone too far. I'm gonna sit down with my family because like I said, we tease a lot, a lot. But take a time to visit and talk with your family and friends and find out when is the teasing gone too far and how can we joke and have fun without hurting each other's feelings. Will you pray with me? Dear God, thank you for giving me a sense of humor and lots of things to laugh about. Please help me remember that you want me to use my words for good, not for teasing others. Remind me that my tongue is powerful. Amen. I want you guys to have a good week and I look forward to talking to you next time. Have a good one.